you know, as much as we talk about fan bases with cult-like behavior in professional wrestling, you could certainly talk about AEW. Like, yeah, there's some mental dimension there, if you will, in terms of some members of that fan base. You could similarly say so with WWE too, right? Certainly, yes. Um, I'll never get it. Like, I couldn't imagine being so emotionally moved and imbalanced that wrestling means that much to you. Like, look, everybody enjoys different things. Everybody enjoys different components of wrestling, and folks can enjoy it in their own way. But when you get to the point of where it consumes you and you generally become a shit person, not just disagreeing with somebody about their take about wrestling, but like legitimately an evil shit person because of fucking scripted entertainment, like you got some deeper seated problems there. But, you know, to me, one of the weirdest kind of cult hive mindsets that we have with professional wrestling involves the women, the divas, if you will, depending on how you want to put it. I mean, I, I'm stunned at like how people will fight you back and forth. Like I remember this happening with me a while back when I was talking about how China is the biggest female wrestling star in WWE history. And people are talking about like Becky Lynch and so forth. And it's like, you know, you could enjoy a Becky Lynch or somebody else and not be disconnected from fucking reality. You know what I mean? Like, don't be disconnected from goddamn reality. Like, that would be like a Bulls fan sitting there and saying Derrick Rose was going to be bigger and better than Michael Jordan. That's just dumb. It shouldn't matter, first of all. Who cares to compare the two? But when you do, like, give me a fucking break. Like, you can enjoy Derrick Rose on his own without trying to compare him to the GOAT. <laughs> give me a break. Um, And certainly, I think... The fan base in terms of female wrestlers that is probably the oddest, the weirdest to me, is the Sasha Banks slash Mercedes Monet army. Yeah, like she'll drop a picture and they will just fawn over her. To which I say, yeah, and look at how much war paint she had to put on her face to make herself look presentable. There's nothing real about her. Everything is phony, but whatever. You know, so I say all of that to say, I'm not a big time like Sasha Banks, Mercedes Monet fan. I'm just not. Like, yeah, she's a decent ring performer. I give her that. And she certainly has taken pride in the year over the years in terms of, you know, investing in her ring gear, which I do think is important. And I commend her for that. She has certainly worked on her craft and honed her craft. And again, I respect that. Made kind of her own path in her own way. I do respect all of that. But I've always viewed her as kind of phony baloney. Please don't ever put a microphone in her hand and expect her to speak into a live mic ever again. Because to me, it's almost always cringeworthy. It makes me want to root for her less and get behind her less, not more. Um... So just not really my bag, right? And I think another reason is is like how much her fan base has overrated her and like pumped her up too full of shit. But then when I see people sitting there and blasting on her for the reports, and mind you, they're just reports, but certainly probably some truth to them, is that she's seeking more than Charlotte Flair money. You've got a bunch of people talking about that's nuts and that's crazy and she doesn't deserve more than Charlotte Flair money to which I say humbug on that shit. Are you kidding me? Like, first of all, think of this like sports free agency. The top player doesn't always get paid the top contract. A lot of it has to do with timing, right? Like, that's a big part of it. Like Patrick Mahomes gets a massive deal and then over the next couple of years, other guys get massive deals like Josh Allen and Joe Burrow and Justin Herbert and Lamar Jackson. You know, after Deshaun Watson had gotten a huge amount of money. Like it's about timing as much as it is anything else. Number two, 
Like, who the hell is going to begrudge a Mercedes for sitting there and trying to get every dollar that she possibly can? It's just so fucking weird. It's not your money. And the WWE certainly has a shit ton of it. They want to sit there and blow it on her, so the fuck be it. Oh, she she doesn't deserve it. Like, what the fuck has Charlotte Flair ever done? Other than ruin main event angles and fucking bot shit and hurt herself and get plastic surgeries. She's fucking terrible in the ring. No personality, no range, no depth to her character whatsoever. And God almighty, do not put a live hot mic in her fucking hands. At least Sasha Banks can put together a coherent story in a match. At least she can work a relatively crisp match, even though sometimes she's a bit on the bocce bank side or damn self. But to sit there and act like Charlotte Flair is on this whole different level, what the fuck is wrong with people? Now, I will grant you, I don't think Sasha Banks is worth big time money. I also don't think Charlotte Flair is worth big time money. I could imagine wanting to pay them seven figures for what? I can't imagine that they're moving merch like that. I can't imagine that they're selling tickets like that. I can't imagine that they're moving the ratings numbers like that. And maybe on the ratings part, I'm wrong. And if so, so be it. But I can't imagine that to be true. But to sit there and like, that's how sad is that? That Charlotte Flair is the standard. Like I want more than Flair money, more than Charlotte money. And here's my thing about Mercedes Monet. Like, she's been out of the spotlight for a good while. You can say, well, she's done some stuff in Japan. Has anybody really fucking missed her? Like, when I look at WWE right now, and I look at AEW right now, I certainly think that, in some ways, Mercedes is better suited going to AEW, because I would think they would be a little more desperate for her and probably need her a little bit more. Whereas WWE... It feels like you're trying to layer on another thing at this point when the timing may not be the best. You just had Randy Orton come back from injury. You just brought back CM Punk. Do you really need to now also layer in a Mercedes Monet or in this case a WWE, a Sasha Banks when you have yet to even fully debut a Jade Cargill? That feels like overkill for the sake of overkill. Whereas AEW, they need her. But ironically enough, I think Mercedes does better in the structure, in the infrastructure of WWE than in AEW where she's going to get more freedom and that's not necessarily going to be a good thing. So to me, I personally would not be wanting to give Mercedes that type of money because I don't think she's fucking worth it, nor do I think the timing is right for her. If the WWE is going to do this, I would say you want to bring her back in the summer, the fall, maybe when you need a bit of a pick-me-up. When you need a bit of a momentum. I don't know that that time is right now. But to sit there and say that she doesn't deserve Charlotte Flair money. Charlotte Flair damn doesn't deserve Charlotte Flair money. You want to talk about the most overrated ass performer in the WWE, if not all of professional wrestling. Above all else, it's Charlotte Flair. Stick that in your stocking and fucking smoke it. When people sit there... Oh, she's great. Oh, fuck you. Humbug my ass. What is fucking great about her? And every time when somebody brings up something that's great about Charlotte Flair, it's easily refutable by basic common fucking sense. So no, I don't think Mercedes is worth that much money. I think actually the past year plus, you know, people by and large, like you'll go on like social media and you'll see people talk about her a little bit, but they move very quickly on with their damn lives. It's not that big of a deal. Her little stuff in New Japan, like did it really move the needle that much? I don't think so. Mercedes comes to WWE. Is she going to move the needle? No. But how can you get mad at her for wanting to get paid big time money? Like as a wrestler, your earnings power and your earnings time frame is limited. Especially for the lady wrestlers. Like, there's a shelf life there. Therefore, as a result, 
Like, what would be so bad about her wanting to get paid more than Charlotte when she's done more that's interesting and compelling over the years than Charlotte has? A humbug your ass if you sit there and complain about her asking for more than Charlotte money. Because Charlotte, that bitch don't deserve that money her damn self. Like I said, I'm not giving Mercedes that money. It's also not my money to give. But if I was in that position to give her money, I wouldn't do it right now. Because I think you're dealing with a person that has an outsized value of themselves. And generally, I like people that have very high value and esteem of themselves. But at some point in time, it doesn't make the most business sense. Humbug on paying her money right now and humbug on anybody that's saying she doesn't deserve to make more than Charlotte Flair. Because uh, where is Charlotte Flair right now? Egg fucking Zachary.